Hi, my name is Sarah and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the Your Answer Can't Be Books tag, which I saw Ash from Books to Ashes do and I was like, I want to do that. <laughs> There are some videos that I've wanted to make that are not book related and I'm like is there a way I can tie this to books uh, or is there not? Like should I just do it anyway? So I feel like this is a good starting point I guess since a lot of these questions kind of are related to books but aren't actually about books. So let's just get into it with the first question which is what is something that you own way too many of other than books? So I don't think there's anything that I own that I have as many of or more than I have books. I have like 450 books, so not much comes close to that. <gasps> Actually, my Paper Star collection, so I made all of these. This is just one container full um, of stars. I have a bigger, uh, like, rectangular container full of them that I don't feel like getting down and then I also have a couple other smaller ones so I easily have thousands of these stars. Um, I used to make them while I was watching TV shows like because they're super easy to make so now I just have a ton of them and I love using them for bookstagram pictures. I feel like they're really a unique prop I guess and I made them. So that makes it even more fun. But that's not my actual answer for this question. <laughs> so my answer would have to be Squishmallows. <laughs> I love Squishmallows. They are like, how could this little face not bring you joy? This little whale shark, his little stumpy tail. So cute. I have less than 20, so. <laughs> I guess it's still a lot. I'll try to put a shot in of all of my Squishmallows, but I have a lot from that are this size. Um, I have a, some that are a little bit bigger, some that are smaller. Look at this one. Look at that face and that nubby little tail. <sighs> so cute. Literally, whenever I go to Target, I feel like they always have ones that I haven't seen before and I'm like, yeah, I need to get them. I, when I was buying this one, I saw a coworker at Target and I was like, oh, maybe I should go say hi. And then I realized I had four Squishmallows in my cart and I was like, no, I'll steer clear of them for now. <laughs> Cause I was like, yeah, all these Squishmallows are for me. <laughs> um, and then my, one of my favorite ones, just cause it's big, is this one. Look at how big it is. And it has a fluffy tail. They're just so huggable. If you have not hugged a Squishmallow yet in your life, if you see one, please do it. Like, it's just healing. So I love Squishmallows. I used to have them all in my bed, but then I would have to take them off my bed every night. So I was like, okay, they need like a specific spot on my floor. Question number two is what is something you do for fun that's not reading? So, I guess I have like three main categories of things that I like to do. Three? Yeah. Um, one is games. I really like video games and board games. Uh, I have a Switch so I mostly play games on that because I'm just sick of PC gaming and like buying a PC game and then it doesn't work on my computer and it just like having to get a new computer all the time in order to play like newer games just is driving me insane. And then I also really like board games. I don't get to play them as often as I would like, but I have been finding more and more games that you can play as one player, so that I don't have to wait for anyone else to play games with me. <laughs> Second category is crafts, as you saw with the stars. I liked making those. Um, I also am really into cross stitch. I have a full video on all my projects that I've done. Uh, I've also made some like mini model let me go get one actually. So I've made some mini models. So this is the most recent one I've done. It is a little sushi house. 
and that's not even the best part. It lights up. Like, it's so cute. And also, it plays music. So yeah, I, I really enjoy doing things like this. Um, well, when things go my way, because these can get very frustrating very fast. <laughs> I am planning on making my own book nook. So that was a kit that I used to make that little sushi house. So I'm going to try to use my knowledge from making those to make a book nook at some point once I like get my life together and my craft together. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like doing that kind of stuff. And then my third other hobby, I guess, is watching TV shows. <laughs> um, I like watching reality TV shows, K-dramas, YouTube videos. Does that count? <laughs> I already did a video about my favorite sort of uh, reality shows. So I want to try to do something related to K-dramas, but um, on Instagram and on my blog, I had done like if you like this book watch this k-drama and i would love to do a video on that but i feel like i used up all of my good comparisons in those posts and like i it's so hard for me to find new one new comparisons because what i read and what i watch are fairly different so eventually i want to do that okay question number three what is something special or important on your nightstand that's not a book so up until like last week, I really only had my clock on my nightstand. Now I have a nail polish display. I'll put a picture of that in. Um, that was supposed to go on. I have a little shelf in my bedroom. I measured the shelf. I looked at the listing on the little nail polish stand and it was supposed to fit on the shelf and it did not. It was like 0.1 inches too big to fit on that little shelf, which ugh, drives me insane. Um, so I have it on my nightstand right now. Eventually, hopefully, go through some of the books on my physical TBR. Um, I have my physical TBR shelf over there, and I want to put the nail polish stand on there once there's room. So it's not on my nightstand, but I don't, generally don't keep anything on my nightstand. Um, question number four. What's something that you buy at a bookstore other than books. Board games. <laughs> I always go to that board game section. There is this series of games called Exit the Game and I had happened to pick one out one time because I was like this seems interesting and I think it was only like $15. So it is like an escape room in a box and it is so fun. I think there's probably about 20 different ones now so anytime I'm there and I see one that I haven't done I'm like I should get that, um, but I love looking at the board game section. Uh, even though in my Barnes and Noble, the board game section is like a complete wreck. It's like they just like throw the games on the shelf like with no organization. Question number five, what's a fun gift that you received that wasn't a book or a gift card for books? One thing that I have close by, well, Technically, this wasn't a book when I received it. So my brother gave me this book binding kit. So with that kit, I made this little book and it has these cool end papers that he picked out and like he picked out the color, which like this is exactly what I would pick too. So most of the pages are still blank, but I've turned it into a little, ooh, the binding is coming apart. No but I've turned it into a little quote book. So I have that one, that was pretty good. This one, these ones I like a lot. Um, I was working on one that was gonna be this, but I guess I never finished it. And also I don't even know what quote I was going for. It has been a while since I've worked on this. I kind of lost inspiration a little bit, but it wasn't a book when he gave it to me, but I made it into a book, so <laughs> I don't know if that counts or not. And then the last question, question number six, is what's a YouTube channel that you watch that's not related to books? Right now I'm obsessed with Mia Maples. I don't really know how to classify her channel. She does kind of like brand reviews, she does some makeup, some clothes, she does like DIY videos, sort of. Um, 
kind of like crafty things, sewing, decor, renovating rooms and things, like a, just a ton of different stuff. But she's just so like wholesome and nice and her videos, like no matter what she's doing, I always enjoy watching. If you've not heard of her and you're in the mood for some kind of like comforting, wholesome videos, definitely check her out. Uh, I love her and I love her whole family. They're just precious. Uh, I just, I always look forward to her videos. She posts them on Fridays and Sundays and every Friday and Sunday I'm like, I'm ready. I'm ready for the video. <laughs> but that's the end of the tag. It's a pretty short one, uh, which is okay with me. I still managed to talk for quite a while, <laughs> even with just six questions. <laughs> But I'm not going to tag anyone, but if you're watching this and you want to do it, definitely do it. <laughs> Consider yourself tagged. And, but yeah, that's it for me. And I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Bye.